So first thing we want to do in this case is, again, factor anything, simplify anything we can. And when we factor out an x, we're left with a 2x minus 3. Right? Now, again, the degree in our denominator is still larger than the degree in the numerator. But this simplifies. Sorry, this x divides out. So I'm left with an x squared over 2x minus 3. Okay? So for the simplified version, is the degree in the denominator still smaller than the degree in the numerator? Yes. So we can say for a horizontal asymptote, there is still none. For vertical asymptote, we're setting our denominator equal to 0, right? You could set your original denominator. You can set the factored form if you want to. And we could say x is equal to 0, and 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 3 halves. However, the x got simplified, right? So that is not a vertical asymptote. That is actually a whole. Because the x's right, got divided out. So remember, when something gets divided out, it's a whole, not a vertical asymptote. That was from chapter 1. So when you just ask for a vertical asymptote, there's only one, which is at 3 halves. Um, however, in the simplified version, my denominator is still, even, af even with the whole, I still have a smaller value in the denominator than the numerator. So I'm going to look for the slant, which is going to be, now we could do the slant from here, or we could go back from our original equation. All right, And I'll just do our original equation here. 2x minus 3 divides into x squared. How many times does 2x divide into x squared? Now, a lot of times, a lot of students will get confused. They're like, well, I get x divides into x squared like x times, but I don't get that. So if you guys remember when I taught long division, I said, if you don't understand how to go from how many times 2x, like this term, divides into that term, write it as a fraction. OK? Because isn't this the same thing? How many times does 2x divide into x squared? How many times does 2 divide into 6? Right? So it's saying the same thing. It's just written in a different form. Now, using the rules of exponents, can we simplify this at all? Well, what happens when you divide exponents? You subtract the powers, right? So this is really a 1. We can't do anything with the numbers. So this just remains 1 half x. Now, 1 half x times 2x, again, is going to 1 half times 2 is 1. x times x is x squared. 1 half x times a negative 3 is going to be a negative 3 halves x. Oh, I changed this. OK. Um, and then let's subtract the rows. So this becomes a 3 halves x. Now we do 3 halves x divided by 2x. Oof. What the heck do we do here? Well, again, guys, we're just dividing fractions, right? Do you guys remember dividing fractions? Right? The x's divide out. So you think about this. You're really doing 3 halves divided by 2. 3 halves divided, dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Which is equal to a 3 fourths. And then we do 3 fourths times 2, which is going to be a 3 halves x. This should be negative. Negative 3 fourths Yeah, not the opposite reciprocal. That's for the perpendicular lines. And then that will go to 0. And then next thing I'll do is I'll have 3 fourths times negative 3, but that's going to be a constant. I have my equation on my line, so therefore I am done. So my slant asymptote is y equals 1 half x plus 3 fourths. And actually, I just realized that I actually changed the problem, didn't I? I actually didn't make a mistake previously.